Hey, what up? Just chilling over here at this dope park. Another one of my favorite parks out here in Utah. <clears throat> but, yeah, I just wanted to make another video for you guys. Um, a lot of my clients are always asking me, like, how, you know, how, how are you so chill? How are you so happy every day? And, um, you know, I didn't always used to be like this. You know, there's a time in my life, too, where just everything always got to me. Everything was just always irritating as fuck. Just people, business, uh, even just small things as far as, like, traffic goes. But, um, no, just when I had my awakening, you know, I... I just had to realize that a lot of that was just me, you know, like bullshit's always happening. So it's how you want to decide to react to it or respond to it. And, you know, it's a hard, I know it's hard um, to get to that level, but it's, it's mostly just recognizing your ego, realizing that a lot of the world, well, your reality actually responds or reacts to you. So like if that's how you want to act to it or whatever, like a small situation comes up and that's how you want to react to it, then that's exactly how it's going to react to you uh, I know it's hard to understand that before you uh, hit that breaking point but <clears throat> yeah just for the longest time you know I was always negative getting mad at everything and you know always thought everybody was out to get us especially when my wife and I started our businesses you know next thing you know I had cousins I didn't even know about <laughs> you know but no I just um yeah man it's just you can't want change and you're not by doing the same thing every day so you know if you want to if you want change in your life and you want to be happy then you know you can't do the same shit every day you know you got to wake up and change your attitude you know i wake up every morning and i count my blessings you know i'm just like how am i going to be uh in good service to my wife or my kids or you know it doesn't necessarily have to be family only but just people in general you know just something that's going to be good intention something that's good you're going to do with good intentions and things that are going to benefit you and the world and your reality around you um, you know, a lot of people are protesting right now, which, you know, I get it, man, the emotions and everything like that. Something has to be done, but I think we should be protesting within, you know. I think, you know, we already know the corruption and all the lies and everything and all the covering of the truth is out there. But, you know, protesting and all that stuff, I feel like are there's still good methods, you know, because they're raising awareness some way or another. Um, but I think a better strategy would be to protest within, you know, change something within yourself and project it out there. That way it becomes contagious and people start catching on to your, you know, your energy and your vibes and all that stuff. So, yeah, so I started protesting within, you know, I think everything starts within, man. Like change doesn't happen out there, you know, because people are already set in their own ways. Um, it's all perception. People are a product of their environments. But um, I think if you really want to change something in the world, then you got to change something within yourself and then start projecting it out there and eventually people start catching on you know because a lot of people don't realize or or know that they're acting like that so um i think when you start projecting it out there not responding then um uh yeah then people just start catching on like oh shit maybe i was overreacting you know and so so that, that's how i was checked too because one of my big ogs he was uh, living with us for a minute so he got to see our routine um and I couldn't remember what happened, but like something was going on and I was just like ready to lose my shit, you know? But I realized that we were going through it together and he wasn't even tripping. So, you know, I told myself like, holy shit, you know what I mean? Like I'm actually creating this drama in my own life by reacting and not responding, you know? Because he and I were both in the same situation. He was just all chill, mellow and laid back. And it was from there I had my first breaking point to recognize my own ego and start changing it, my own reality instead of reacting respond um but yeah it was just some funny drama shit and, you know i was like ready to throw down and shit like that you know and then my big og's like yo he's like it's cool and i was just like holy shit it is cool you know what i mean because yeah like if i were there to react to that thing then it would have been worse and then i would have been blaming him you know for trying to step up to me or whatever but whatever the situation was um but yeah man it just all comes down to how you react and respond um once you realize that, you're going to realize that the world actually does the same thing to you. And so I was able to recognize that and start incorporating it into my life and start projecting it on my uh, clients, my family, my friends. And, you know, I just I, I slowly started seeing things change around me where things weren't always bullshit and drama. It was actually me looking at it that way. And, you know, you're right either way. So if you look at it as drama, then it's going to be drama. But if you look at it as like, eh, it's whatever, then it's going to be whatever, though. So I always tell people you're right either way. So just wanted to kind of 
but I just wanted to make a video about that because a lot of people are always uh, wondering like yo man you always just got good vibes you're always chill laid back nothing seems like it ever phases you you know and um yeah it's probably 90 percent right you know what i mean like i said the stuff that you know a lot of drama out there never stops and some things pull me a little bit but then i always have to censor myself and just get away and just uh do things like this you know i'm doing things like this now more just for uh my family my wife and just you guys whoever's going to be tuning in but, but yeah man just um step out of your step out of your perception and just think about it you know before you react or respond and then you'll see a bigger picture out of it and then you'll be like ah you know i was about to react off my emotions so just gotta take a little breather step back and then uh just respond and just be like nothing you know what i mean put your hater blockers on so yeah i just wanted to make a video about that hopefully it helps you guys so see you on the next peace Before I wrap it up, I was going to break down this little illustration that was going on during uh, my little speech. <laughs> um, but yeah, just controlling your inner ego. So that's why you see uh, the lion, he looks possessed. I used him to symbolize ego. Uh, half moon phases, a lot of people use that for um, the term let go, you know, whatever's bothering you. Just let it go, otherwise it ends up controlling you. Um, so yeah, that's just a little breakdown of that.